Hi, so this is the JDiag ODB2 scanner with the battery function tester. So I am going to go through each one of these screens screen by screen. So the first screen you'll see is the diagnostics, then there's going to be the battery tester, and it actually comes with a DTC code lookup built into the device. So it has a lot of the generic codes as well as the sort of manufacturer specific codes for each type of uh, vehicle here. So let me go ahead and show you each one of these screen by screen. So in the diagnostic menus you can actually read the codes, erase the codes and actually see the live data. So my vehicle currently doesn't have any error codes to be read but if you did you, you could actually store the readings and actually previous readings or erase the current codes so in case there's not an actual malfunction on the machine but it's actually a false reading so um, in some of these other screens you will see that there is live data so if I scan for example for the live data you can see there that my battery voltage is fluctuating and also the DTC count which is the diagnostic trouble code count you can see the fuel system uh, indicators and also the load percentage and uh, you know barometric pressure and also the RPMs so um, there is a lot of live data information that comes across here so I'm gonna go scroll down through every screen so you can take a look at all the different types of live readings that you get from this JDiag ODB2 scanner and keep in mind this does have the battery tester which is why you see the voltage measurement there. So these are just more stats and more screens and I'm gonna scroll over to a couple of more screens here before going through the diagnostic trouble code, the DTC code screens. So as you can see there's a lot of uh, different statistics that uh, I don't necessarily know exactly what they are but at least you can view what's available. So I'm gonna exit here into the main menu and scroll through uh, the other options. So for example, there is the freeze frame screen, so you could actually capture a screen and look at them. So IM readiness is the emissions testing readiness. So there are about 12 different types of monitors and you could get metrics on whether they are okay or ready. So you could see I have a lot of okays here, which means that my emissions testing is basically ready uh, for the most part for the official emissions test and I'll likely pass so that is the emissions readiness I am readiness here so these sensors you could have the readings for this uh, basically this driving cycle or for the readiness in general so you can see that that's for that particular driving cycle now for the next menu option it is the vehicle information now going back to the main menu here and into the battery tester. So you can see with the battery tester you could see the voltage and also the rating. So it rates my battery here as a pretty good battery. So this does come with a battery tester or at least the estimated voltage reading of the battery. Now into the DTC or diagnostic code readers so I could punch in the code and I could have a code lookup so DTC stands for diagnostic trouble code so you could see this has a library of both the generic codes and the manufacturer specific codes built right into the device itself that you can look up so if I go into the setup menu you'll see it supports different types of languages and I'll scroll through some of these languages as you can see it's um, you know, French, Dutch, Dutch, Italian, Spanish, and I believe Russian, and also the unit of measures here for English or the metric system, and a contrast, and you'll see there is a self-test and also an update. So you could actually update the device if there's new codes or software that needs to be updated. There is an update mode for this. And in general, that's really it. That is the complete functionality and screens of this JDiag ODB2 scanner. And I hope this helped, and uh, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.